All right, Shalom, Shalom, from Brother Yahweh Shapai. From the Lively Stone Camp here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, coming at you with another lesson. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well in these scriptures, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. I'm going to start off in 2nd Genesis, the 15th chapter. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. You know, so the prophets, man, they not get, they never got their breakdowns through their own interpretation. You know, the breakdowns were given to them through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and they will move to put the words which they heard into, into paper, man, and into writing, you know? It says, um, fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. You know, so we can't be worried about these scoffers, man. You know, the scriptures are, are, have prophesied of scoffers that are, that are gonna come up in the last days. And some of these scoffers even proclaim themselves to be uh men of the lord man and 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 you know they in these other camps i'm not gonna go into names but you know you got scoffers that are amongst us in the truth you know that scoff at the doctrine hey man and yahweh bashim yahweh shah is going to judge for every single one of these things man you know so you guys that um you heads and elders in these other camps that are a part of the, uh, that are not a part of gms you know hey man um you know, you're going to get judged for that pridefulness, man. You know, because these false breakdowns that they come up with, they come up with these false breakdowns, you know, to uh, try to uplift themselves. You know what I'm saying? And, and ultimately, man, a lot of these camp leaders that are of these other camps, they want the position that the apostles of GMS have in the spirit, man, which they are the elders of all Israel right now, you know? So a lot of these guys, man, they come up with these uh, uh, uh bogus breakdowns, man, to try to make themselves look good, you know, and, and, and ultimately they do it because they don't want to give credit to the apostles for the right breakdowns. You know, they, they realize that if they break the scriptures down right and they break them down the, right, uh, the way that they're supposed to, they would have to, you know, hey, give that double honor to the elder, elder apostles, man, because they're who the Lord gave those breakdowns to, you know. But I'm going to keep reading. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, Salakia. I'm going to get a, a second answer, 15 uh, and 4. That's where I'm at. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You know, so you Jake's out here, man, that don't have faith, man. You know, that lack of faith is going to cause you to do some un uh, unfaithful things. You might get that chip. You know, you might take the juice. You know, a lot of you have already done that, man. And that's why the scriptures say this, man, you know. When you move, when you in the last days, man, a lot of these, a lot of you Jakes, man, you gonna see that you ain't got no food, and you're not gonna look at it from a spiritual standpoint. Like, hey, I ain't got no food, but the Lord can make me find some food. He can bring some food to me. You know, hey, Jake gonna be like, fuck it, man, I'm just gonna take the chip. You know, me and my kids gotta eat. You know, hey, a lot of you are going to make moves that are going to get you put to death, and you're going to die in your unfaithfulness, man. You know. All you Israelites out there that don't believe, that you don't have faith, you know, and, and it takes faith to live according to the way Yahweh Bashan Yahweh wants you to live, man. Uh, you know, while we here in captivity, it takes faith to do that, man. You know, because when you separate from the world, people in the world look at you like you done lost your damn mind. When you really found your mind and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh you know, when you stop smoking weed and you stop trying to go out and party and bullshit with everybody. You know, they look at you as if uh, you had lost it, man. You know, because you're not running to that same excesses as, as, as others. You're not running to that same, uh, you know, like I said, man, you're not in that party and bullshit spirit, man. So people in the world look at you like you ain't, like you done lost it, man. You know, but hey, it's better for you right now to miss out on having fun, you know, to miss out on certain things, you know, then for you to have some fun now and pay for it with your death later, man. You know, 
like the scriptures, uh, when the scriptures speak about Moses, the scriptures speak about how, you know, at one point in time, Moses refused to be called Pharaoh's son, man. You know, and he uh, would rather, you know, he chose rather to suffer with his people than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, man. You know? Because you can, you're going to enjoy yourself now, but you're going to pay for it later, man. You know, the pleasures of sin come with a wage, and the wages of sin is death. You know, so, hey, man, you, hey, people might, you, you know, you might have um, what you would call a, 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 a boring lifestyle as far as to what people in the world see. But, hey, man, brothers have fun. Brothers still, you know, have them a little yayan, a little strong drink every now and then. You know, brothers still get down how they get down. We just don't get down wickedly, man. You know, and sometimes, man, you you know, you know, we not having fun right now on this side, man, because we not enjoying this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we not enjoying uh, seeing our people in the state that they in. We not enjoying going to work every day. You know, sometimes working two jobs, man, or working seven days a week. You know, that's not enjoyable. You know, so um, you know, hey, pretty much, man, those of us who are in that. You know, in the spirit of the hopeful elect, we're trying to, you know, um, like the scriptures say, man, uh, thinking of that one verse, uh, you know, we're trying to make our calling and election sure, you know, and, and one, um, one part of that, one, one main part of that is that, you know, hey, we're in the house of mourning right now, man, you know, so we're not enjoying ourselves at this current point in time, but. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah is going to reward us for not taking part in this wickedness for a season, man. You know, for giving that up, hey, for the Lord, man. You know, the scriptures say, uh, you know, the scriptures talk about how the Lord is going to, you know, there's a reward for us doing this work, man. You know, the Lord is not unrighteous to forget, you know, uh, the scriptures talk about our labor of love, man. Hey, the Lord is going to reward us for that. You know, and I'm roughly paraphrasing that scripture, but I'm going to get back to second edge of the 15th chapter. Yeah, man. Uh, Esau out here with fucking demons on him, you know. And, and as, as we move toward the end, you know, man, these demons are going to really, really, you know what I'm saying? Hey, these demons are going to be amped up in these people, man. You know, I remember Elder Demasha Pot did a, a lesson years ago. And, um, uh, you know, pretty much, man, it had a dude, you know, he was fucking possessed with demons, man. He was, it looked like he was motherfucking pop locking, you know. And, and I ain't trying to make a joke out of it, man, you know, whatever, whatever. But in all seriousness, man, you're going to start to see some things and, and, and certain, you're going to see some demons manifesting these people, man. Going out, going into these last days, man. People are going to be possessed. Hell, you might even see a fucking apparition. You know, but you got to keep your wits about you in the spirit, man. Things are going to get very, very scary around here. Shit's going to get spooky. You know, and if you ain't got the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and a strong, sound mind and wisdom, hey, man, you're going to bug the hell out just from seeing some of the shit that you're going to see, man. You know, death is going to be a, a very, a very normal thing in the times to come. Famine, people dying of starvation. That's what we're we're heading into. That's what type of times we heading into, man. You know, this is Second Ezra, fifteen and five. Behold, saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, I will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Hey, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. It's fed up with this place, man. He's fed up with two-thirds. He's fed up with these fucking heathens, man. You know? And pretty soon, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah is going to let all hell break loose on this earth. You know? Hey, man, you know, uh, this place gets worse and worse about a day, bro. We literally live in a, a spiritual Sodom and, and Gomorrah, man. You know, this is Sodom and Gomorrah all over again, this place. It's also a uh, spiritual Egypt. This is a very, very demonic ass world that we live in, man. You know, when you, especially when you look at the television, which the, you know, television programming, they programming you with uh, with, with, with bullshit. 
all, all the time. I hardly watch television, TV. You know, of course I used to, but the point I'm trying to make is, man, hey, <laughs> um, you know, they trying to push homosexuality on children. They trying to push the idea that pedoph pedophilia is okay. You know, it's only so much that the Lord is going to let go, man. Hey, you how about seeing our sides getting ready to completely cleanse this place and by way of fire? You know, he promised that he wouldn't flood the earth again, but the Lord never said that he wouldn't uh, 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 send fire upon this place. And that's what's, that's the next judgment, man. You know? And because of the wickedness, you know, because of the wickedness of Jake, man, a lot of you Jakes, you're going to lose your children. You know, a lot, of, uh, two thirds of our people are going to die, man. According to the scriptures, you know, Zechariah thirteen and eight, man. You know, so Jake, man, hey, Jake, all hell is getting ready to break loose. You know, hey, if you don't know your how about some y'all was shot, now is the time for you to be trying to get to know the Lord, man. Whether you old or whether you young, whether you small or great, because those who are seeking after Yahweh and Yahweh shot, those are the only ones that are going to be kept. From this great tribulation that's coming. We're going to go through it, but we're going to be protected through it, man. You know, the Lord's going to give us the spirit to get through it. Whatever we, whatever it is, it may be that he has set up for us to go through, you know. But like Isaiah 33 and 6 says, man, you know, wisdom and stability shall be the strength of thy times, man. You know, so right now, while it's available, you know, Jake should be trying to get this knowledge. You know, it's a... It's, it's thousands upon thousands of edifying videos on YouTube, man. And they don't got hardly any views. But, you know, somebody like Takashi 6 9 or, or uh, that wicked-ass nigga Charleston White, you know. And then I'm just naming people, man, that, that, you know, they don't do nothing but produce folly. You know, hey, and, 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 and that shit gets hundreds of millions, of hundreds of million views, man. Brothers doing, you know, good breakdowns on the scriptures, man. Uh, beautiful breakdowns on the scriptures. You know, if, if depending on how, how big your channel is, you might get a thousand views. You might get 500 views, you know. But even then, man, many, it should be, many, it should be a lot more views on those videos. But that just goes to show you, hey, the Lord is only dealing with a small sanctuary. That's why everybody can't get it. You know, that's why the truth is on display, you know, and, and, and it gets very little attention. But, you know, like the scriptures say, folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low place. Hey, Esau don't give a damn about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's why he constantly pushes homosexuality, death, uh, uh, adultery. That's why he constantly has that being pushed on Jake, man. You know? No, it, 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 Esau wouldn't dare put somebody righteous on the platform to reach millions of people but he a damn show put somebody that's uh, evil as hell and he'll get on the platform to reach millions man people here overseas you know so that's what the scripture that's what it means when the scriptures say folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low place you know who are the rich man the rich are the, are the ones who are um pushing this word man the prophets you know the 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 the, the uh, hopeful uh, hopeful elect, man. That's the, we're the real rich, man. You know. And right now we sitting in a low place. We in the house of mourning. But eventually Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai is going to glorify us, man. Just like he did Yahweh Shai. You know, if we endure unto the end, and if we're chosen. You know, if we written in that book of life, man. I'm gonna keep reading. It says, therefore saith Yahweh. Second Edges 15 and 7. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise. In which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. You know, oh, hey, man, that's that's the men that have died in this truth. That's those of us who are in this truth who, hey, we hate this fucking world, man. You know? Hey, we're the ones who are sighing and crying, you know? And like Yahweh Shah said, man, the Lord is going to speedily deliver his elect, which sigh and cry unto him 
day and night, man, roughly paraphrasing that scripture. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to pull that right quick. You know, if you'll notice, man, things are moving a lot quickly as far as time goes. You know, hey, the Lord is shortening the days, man, because the days are evil. If Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh doesn't shorten the days, you know, the Lord said this out of his own mouth. There would be no flesh left to save, man. Hey, here it is. You know, they putting this shit out there. You know, all of us ingest a credit card's worth of plastic a week. You know, the scriptures talk about how the, the, the children of Israel shall eat their defiled bread amongst the Gentiles. Everything we fucking eat here is defiled, man. Everything we eat here is killing us, man. You know, so we 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 die slowly in more in more than one way. You got chemtrails in the sky. You got animals falling out the sky from the chemtrails. You got half dead ass trees and plants. Hey, the earth is mourning right now, man. And why is it mourning? Because Esau, the so called white man, is ruling over it. You know, for you to for you to think your, yourselves as such a great people, you've done terrible things to this earth, man. You've destroyed this earth. And that's why the Lord is getting ready to take you out of power, man. You know, Esau's power seat, hey, hey, it's getting ready to be taken away from him. The elite are getting ready to be removed from their uh, their riches and put in the chains, man. You know, those who oppress us now, we're going to oppress them in a very near future. Lead us uh, Isaiah 25. Yeah, man, you know. And it, it's, it's a lot of judgment going out, man. Which judgment goes out every day, you know. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has been increasing that on you wicked ass Jakes and on you heathens, man. You know, and rightfully so. Hey, the Lord is moving his right hand through this earth, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is visiting this earth. You know, that's why you have tornadoes that are injuring 20 and killing 7 every other day. You know, that's why you have children dying in house fires, man. That's why you have uh, uh, little kids in, in these Jake neighborhoods getting shot. Hey, this is the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And it will increase, man. You know? And you wicked ass uh, Israelite men and women. Who refuse to come back to your heritage? Hey, since you since you gonna deny how about some y'all shy? He's gonna take your kids from you, and then he gonna have you put to death by the heathen, man. You know? Hey, all of you who who cast away how about some y'all shy's law, statutes, and commandments that were given to us as a people to set us apart? Hey, you know the scriptures say that uh, you're gonna dwell in torments, man, in these last days. Esau got some medieval shit. Prepare for you jakes in these fucking concentration camps, man. You better believe it. You know? Hey, you know, like uh, like Ving Rhames say in Pulp Fiction, Esau gonna get medieval on Jake. Hey, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah ultimately is pulling the strings, man. You know? Because Esau, no matter how wicked he is, he's the Lord's sword, man. The Lord is controlling him, man. You know, so if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is controlling the wicked, that means he what? He controls good and evil, man. You know? As a matter of fact, I'm going to just uh, get in Isaiah. Yeah, man, this, this guy across the street got big demons on him. You know? Hey, he, he running around here with legion on him, man. He jerking and talking to himself and shit, and that's just an example of what's to come. You gonna have people losing their goddamn mind, man. You know, and um, I'm gonna say it very short and simply. Everybody who took the juicy juice when they crank up the internet, <laughs> your ass gonna crank up too. <laughs> you know, they have this thing called, uh, I believe it's called Pfizer 5G, if I'm not mistaken. You know, so. That's a hint. That's a hint for you. You know, I can't really go all the way into it because they'll take the video down, man. Hey, hey, hey. Esau is butthurt again about this truth. You know? But one thing about it, man, you can do nothing 
uh, uh, against the truth before the truth, man. When you take brothers videos down, it just make people search harder for the truth. You know, so those who are set up to get this truth, they gonna get it, man, and they gonna and they gonna read and they gonna uh, 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 study. You know, they gonna have that wisdom. They gonna gain that wisdom and knowledge that's gonna keep them stable in the times to come. But you know, hey, the um, like the scriptures say, man, the passing by of the simple shall slay them, man. You know, and I'm I'm roughly paraphrasing a lot of scriptures. It's kind of hard trying to read out my. Script, so I'm gonna just try to get some of these precepts out of my phone. So lock you for the weight I can. Precepts is coming through the spirit and power. Yeah, I will buy some y'all shot up. Let's see. Uh, I think that's Proverbs, the first chapter. You know, we we got to get this truth while we can, man. You know, the scriptures say it's it's a. Uh, I'm not going to roughly paraphrase no more. I'm going to pull Proverbs 1 and uh, I'm going to start at verse 20. Because, you know, uh, Proverbs 1 and 20 on down, it, it explains where you can find wisdom. It explains, you know, also um, that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is reaching his arm out unto you by way of his prophets, you know. Hey, you know, like the scriptures say, man, we have sung unto you, we have piped unto you, and you have not danced, man. You know, our people want nothing to do with Yahweh by Shemyahu Shabbat. When all hell breaks loose, they're going to want everything to do with the Lord. And by then, it'll be too late, man. You know, you, you can't put the, the, the Lord off from day to day and expect not to be, uh, find yourself in a, in a, in a position of destruction for that, man. And speaking for myself, first and foremost, you know. This is Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cried without she uttered her voice in the streets. So is wisdom in these churches? No, man. According to Proverbs 1 and 20, wisdom is in the streets, man. You know, these pastors, they don't have the truth. And they they, they, they give you false breakdowns every Wednesday and Sunday night, man. A sun, yeah, every Wednesday and Sunday, you get a false breakdown. You get a false interpretation of the scriptures. You know, and they take your money. You know, tights is food, man. Tights ain't you passing a basket around and getting money from everybody in the congregation, man. You know, tithing had to do with food. And it's a part of the law. So they'll tell you, well, you got to pay your tithes. But you said the law was done away with. So why, do, you know, why are you still taking tights from people? And that just goes to show you, man, these Christian pastors, they ain't shit, man. You know, Pastor Portop ain't doing nothing but stealing from the congregation so he can ride in him a new Cadillac and shit on everybody else, man. It, it, it's really a uh, 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 high grade nigga shit, man. Being disguised as holiness. That's all that's all the church is, man. You know, Proverbs 20 and 20, Salaki, Proverbs 1 and 21. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. In the openings of the gates in the city, she uttered her words saying, hey, man, she cried in the chief place of concourse, man. Now, when you look into a chief place of concourse, where is uh, some of the most prestigious places in every big city? It's downtown. Rodeo Drive, uh, you know, State Street in Chicago, or uh, what do they call it? Um. I forgot what they call what they call the Gold Coast in Chicago. And I'm just using those as examples. You know, uh, what is it? Melrose in LA, whatever, whatever, man. That those are chief places of concourse. So that's where you're gonna find the men of the Lord, man. For now at least. You know, until Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah brings us uh uh Salakia, Amos 8 and 11 to come to pass, which that'll happen. You know, that will happen. This is Proverbs 1 and 21 again. She uh, she cried in the chief place of concourse and the openings of the gates in the city. She uttered her words saying, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. You know, so, hey, man, hey, wisdom is crying out, man. She asking Jake, how long will you love simplicity, man? 
All Jake want to talk about is the next pork chop they going to eat and the next fucking basketball or football game. You know, they are, all they want to talk about is overtime at work and continuing to be a fucking slave, man. They don't want to talk about getting up out of here. They don't want to talk about the kingdom of heaven. They don't want to talk about, you know, how, uh, hey, they, they, they don't want to talk about the scriptures, man. You know, they don't care about what's going to come because they feel like what's to come is far off, man. But as you see, the Lord is not prolonging his words anymore. Like the scriptures say in Ezekiel. Everything that we speak through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, if you brothers can see that, man, it's been coming to pass uh, more and more quickly, man. You know, the Lord is not being slack as far as concerned in bringing these prophecies to come to pass. They're coming to pass very, very quickly. Which is, it, it, and, and us seeing that and measuring the time diligently in itself, we see that this place ain't got long, man. Like I say, another five years? No. Another two to three, maybe. And that's a big maybe with a question mark behind it. You know, the way things are going, man, they, they can implement that chip any day. World War Three could jump off completely any day. You know, but I don't think we that close. I do think, you know, within the next year or two, man, we're going to be up out of here, man. If not this year. Like I say, no man knows that day or that hour. Not even your house I knows that hour, you know. This is Proverbs 1. Just letting brothers know where I'm at. This is Proverbs 1 and 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will power out my I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Hey, and that's what the Lord's doing, especially in these last days, man. You got a lot of brothers coming in, man. You got a lot of younger brothers waking up. You got a lot of uh uh, uh sisters out there waking up to this truth, you know. And that, and that number is increasing on the daily, man. So the Lord is definitely sealing his elect, you know. But not only that, man, hey, we're out here to teach, you know, um, our people, whether they were here or forbear. So the word is going out to everybody, man. The word is going out to the heathen. The word is going out to Israel. You know what I'm saying? Even though we know only the elect is going to get it, we still got to come out here and, 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 and uh, um, hey, get the blood off our hands, so to speak. You know, the Lord has set us up as a watchman. You know, and, and, and we are here to warn the righteous and the wicked alike, man, whether they are listening or not. It says, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said that not all my counsel and wood, none of my reproof. Yeah, Jake don't want nothing to do with the scriptures. You know, a nigga getting them to, into Islam you know, a uh, 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 quick fast and in a hurry, man. You bring up the Bible to him. Well, I don't know, man. The white man in Tampa with that. I don't know, man. Uh, uh, I don't believe in the Bible, man. You know, Jake quick to say that, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything has been translated from one language to another. So the, the, the Quran that you read in English, that's been tampered with. If you using that type of uh, 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 excuse, you know, and niggas want to be fucking uh, 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 Islam, man. Niggas, Jake want to be fucking Muslim so bad. Even the Quran tells you the favor that the Lord, the Most High, Yahweh, which that's his name, is not Allah. If you know, if you go into Arabic and Hebrew can be very similar. Allah simply means power in Hebrew. You know, so Allah is not, um, Allah is not the name of Yahweh, man. That's not even a title of the Lord's, man. Allah simply means power. You know? The Most High's name is Yahweh. There are no E's, O's, or U's in the Hebrew. You know? So that being said, man, you know, Jake don't understand that even the Quran tells you that the Israelites are the Most High's people. They are his chosen. Even Ishmael understand that, you know, they got their own thing, and that's, that, that's their thing, man. That's the way of the other nations. And the scriptures tell you that you're not supposed to follow the way of the heathen. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai laid out the royal red carpet for us, man, when he gave us these law, statutes, and commandments. And all we had to do was keep them. Which, of course, that was part of the story that we went off. But, man, when we keep, when we try to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, man, 
our way is prosperous. The other nations look at us, you know, as a, 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 as being a wise and understanding nation, man. You know, but when Jake get into anything else or you carry on as far as, you know, how black culture tells you to carry on. The other nations look at us like a bunch of fucking baboons, man. Because that's how Jake act out here. You fucking Jake men, women, you Jake men, you know. Now, if brothers have been seeing it, especially you brothers, you know, that are, you know, uh, uh, younger, whatever, you brothers that listen to music, the shit's all over YouTube. Excuse my language, excuse my French. You got these Jake women out here, man. Uh. You got these Jake women out here in a fucking video, you know, uh, talking about they, they fuck nigga free. That's the name of the video. Excuse my language, but I'm just speaking on it. You know, you got these women out there. They all tatted up. All of them got uh, little to no clothing on. Hell, it was even a pregnant ass. It was even a pregnant. Eve was in the video fucking pregnant, man. You know, outside at a stoplight twerking. You know, so the Israelite woman is fucking gone, bro. And I've decided, you know, me, myself personally, and I know some other brothers, man. We not dealing with Eve. You know, to hell with it. You know what I'm saying? You know, the best thing for brothers to do, you know, hey man, get you a get you a Edomite, man. Get you a Shedamite woman. Salaki. Get you a Shedamite. Go to uh get you a, a Elamite woman. Hey man, deal with any of these women of other nations. But if you smart, you will stay you will stay the hell away from that so called black woman, man. You will stay the hell away from Eve. You know, as I grew older in the spirit. I, you know, uh, I, I've been heard Elder Apostle Tahar say this. Elder Apostle Gabar, all the apostles in, in, in the, in the Zaquanya, you know, the elders and other elder brothers, man. But, you know, you, you go through what you go through. And it, and it really makes sense to you when you, you know, you know, you hear these scriptures, right? How the scriptures talk about how our women ain't shit, man. You know, our women are harlots in the city. And that video, that uh, FNF freestyle, that's what it's called. That video proves it. You know, you got a fucking pregnant black woman outside at a stoplight shaking her ass, man. But you women won't fucking respect. Y'all don't respect y'all damn selves. You know, and like I say, man, that's why you see a lot of Jake men. They won't even deal with the black woman no more, man. You know, and I don't blame them. You know what I'm saying? You know, but hey, the scriptures talk about how, you know, um, the scriptures talk about how our women... They're going to be in a lot of trouble in these last days, man, because that's Eve's mindset is that she doesn't she doesn't need a man. You know, not only will you need a man in these times to come, you'll need a man of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah that's protected. You know, because if that man that you with, if he ain't got no protection around him, man, he through and you through. You know? Yeah, man, uh... The scriptures speak clearly about our women that our women are in a they 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 through right now, man. And I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures. I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures on E. You know, I don't mean to rant Akim through the spirit. You know, I try to if I do rant, I try to keep it spiritual. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna get some precepts though, man. I wanna grab um Hey man, all of us, man, some of us in this truth, you know, I hate to say it, but this is the state that our people are in. We gotta a woman that we used to deal with and have kids with that we not with no more, man. No, nine times out of ten, when you wicked, you know, the scriptures tell you a wicked woman is given as a portion unto a wicked man. No, when you in the world, man, you 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 being you being wicked. So nine times out of ten, that woman that you was with when you was in the world, very seldom does it happen that she follows you into this truth. You know? Hey man, once you stop smoking weed with her, and you know, once you stop you know, oh, baby, it's all about you, baby this, baby that. You know, hey, man, she, she going to say the hell with you. You know, a lot of these women, they say they want an alpha male when now nah, they really want a beta male, man. They don't want no man that's going to tell them what to do because when they do run into that, they flee from it. But when they get them a dude that, you know, they can boss the hell around and that dude going to make his life all about her. You know, hey, they cool with that, man. And that's why uh, the, the, the scriptures say that many men have run out of their wits for women and have become servants for their sake, man. A lot of you jakes out there, man, you are you are servants to your woman, man. 
you know? That's why a lot of Jake ain't going to make it, man. A lot of y'all going to die because some of y'all going to die because you caught up into your woman. And that's that's a fucked up way to go out, man. You perish because you can't get your mind right because you get your mind all bugged out because you worried about a woman, man. You know? All of us are dealing with whores, basically. And, and when you go into the specifics of it, this breakdown, none of us are dealing with women. You know, it, it might be a few brothers out there that are, but none of us are dealing with women that we took their virginity. You know, uh, most of us, for the most part, we have women that have been dealt with by other men, man. So, you know, we all dealing with women. We, we got wives of whoredom, you know. You know, the scriptures talk about how thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, and that's what the Israelite woman is, man. She's a harlot in the city. That's all these women do is, 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 is sleep around and ride the cock carousel. You know, then they, they, you know, they'll fuck over a good man. And when that man done with them and they done riding the cock carousel, they want to come back to that man. No, nah, man. Hey, hey, if you got a woman that you used to deal with, and you stop dealing with her. She dealt with somebody else. Scriptures say you can't take that woman back because her land has been greatly defiled, meaning her uh, uh, her vagina, man, has been defiled by another man. You know, so ultimately we all done went off, man. We all then you know double back, you know, before. But hey, like I say, speak for myself first and foremost. I done learned my lesson from that, man. You know, we done went off before. Jake done went off, but. No, that's why you got to constantly apply the scriptures to everything you do. Before you do something, you got to apply the scriptures. Like, okay, what did the scriptures say about this, man? You know, um, and, 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 you know, you know, long as you do that, man, the Lord won't guide you into a situation, you know, that you might have to pay for it down the line, man. You know, you, you, you might commit adultery and not even knowing that you, know that you, did, that you did it. You still going to get judged for that. No, the Lord might not kill you, but he going to put you through something. You know what I'm saying? You're not just going to get away scot-free, man. And, and, and brothers, who are in the truth, we get judged damn near instantaneously, it seems like. You know? And that's because the Lord is dealing with us, man. You know, the Lord ain't letting Jake out there in the world get away with wickedness, but they are bastard children. You know, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai ain't punishing them, you know, uh, um, off the bat because he don't love them, man. He not correcting them off the bat because he don't love them. You know, but um, Jake ain't out there getting away with anything, man. Everything that these niggas are doing, they will be judged for every last bit of it. So, Lucky, I'm gonna get this uh, this preset. Oh, that's eight mile seven and seventeen. No, Jake think they're getting away with it because they're not getting judged instantaneously. One thing about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is, man, they don't let anything go, man. And you would think, oh, well, it's been seven years ago since I did that. The Lord will come back and judge you for something that you did 300 years ago in your past life. The Lord will come back and judge you for something you did a month ago. You know, the scriptures tell you that Yahweh uh, requires that which is past, man. You know, it also talks about how because because a uh, sentence against a, an evil work is not executed speedily, the son of Salaki. I'm gonna I'm hold on that. I'm gonna hold on that precept. I'm gonna hold on that. This is Amos seven and seventeen. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, Thy wife shall be in harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. And thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. Which this happened. But it's still going on, man. We still dealing with uh, uh, uh hey Jake out there got you know kids by literally straight whores, man. You know, these things are happening again. So this scripture is, is twofold when dealing with Jake. You know, you got Jake out there, man, that, that's in the streets. They they uh uh they perishing, they kids perishing, the parents is perishing. And that's because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has a controversy 
with the land, man, with you Jakes, man. You know? Hey, that street nigga shit, that hood nigga shit, that's a that's a um uh 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 an ideology, man. Essentially that's idol worship. Thug, that thug life spirit. You know, a thug is a literal demon, man. You know? So if if, if you Jakes who are in that street spirit, oh, I'm in the streets, I got ops. You know, y'all learn to fucking spell, man. And you how about some y'all size, allowing y'all to keep to be kept under that spell uh, until he destroys you. You know? But yeah, man, we 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 all have um we didn't all dealt with harlots, man. Because that's what our women are at this current point in time. You know, they'll be righteous in the king. But you know, and, and, and it's, it's 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 a few Israelite women out there that got their head on their shoulders. But for the most part, man, the Israelite woman is through, man. You know, speaking on these women, hey, Jake going to get multiple women, man. You know, we going to have multiple women. This is Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So, man, you women are going to make your own clothes. You're going to feed yourself, sew your own clothes. You're just going to ask us to be married unto us, man. You know, a man of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shot. Hey, and some of you women are going to get the fucking boot. Not all of you going to make the cut. But, you know, we're coming into a time where that will actually be necessary. You know, one man uh, 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 having multiple women. You know, it's going to be a shortage on men, man. The scriptures talk about that. You know? A lot of you women have wicked men that are going to be destroyed and you'll be given unto a righteous man and you're going to like it. You're not going to have nothing to say about it, man. You know, because right now, man, you, you bring that verse out, you know, uh, but you don't teach a woman certain scriptures, man. Scriptures tell you, teach not the wife of thy bosom and evil lesson against thee. You know, so it's certain things you don't go into with your woman, but the reality of it is polyg polygyny it's going to come back, man, in a, in a huge way, especially during Jacob's trouble, man. A lot of these women, they, it's going to be a shortage on men in general. And, you know, the men of the Lord are going to have a lot of women, man. You know? It's prophecy. You know, so women is, is the, the last thing that we should be worried about, brothers. We're going to get women. You know what I'm saying? The Lord giving us a woman is a very small thing. Hey, uh, like, you know, uh, I heard Elder Apostle Hart say this, man. A woman is like a fucking toy, man. You play with her. You know what I'm saying? You you, you put your rod and you do what you do with her, man. She like a toy, you know? And and, 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 and we are Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai's men. The Lord is going to greatly reward us. All we got to do is keep pushing this truth, man. You know? Brothers is going to be having a lot of sex in the kingdom, you know? Hey, why? Because, hey, two-thirds that perish on this side, they're going to come back to us. You know what I'm saying? You know, the, the, the scriptures say a, a small one shall become, no, the scriptures say a little, a little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation. Hey, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is going to glorify the Israelite man and uplift us again like we were always meant to be, man. You know, all we got to do is keep pushing. If you got your hand to the plow, man, you can't take your hand off that plow, man. And like I say, Speaking for myself, first and foremost, you know, you can't let this world and the cares of this world stop you from what, you know, hey, um, what, what you were really put here to do, man. Because, of course, you, you got to you got to do what you got to do while you're here. You got to work your job. You got to get your little money to take care of your business. But you can't let that overshadow the work that you're supposed to be doing for Yahweh by Shin Yahweh side. And that's what's been going on with me here lately, you know, um. Brothers, you know, hey, this place where it's set up to wear us the hell out, man. You know, uh, if you want child support, right? And, and that just goes to show you how fucking wicked this place is. And Esau know what he did when he set these laws up. He know he set these laws up to persecute Jake, man. Namely, hey, namely Judah. You know what I'm saying? And the other tribes as well. But, you know, namely Judah, man. Esau hate has a, a, a very, very pure hatred towards all of the whole nation of Israel, but he hates Judah the most, man. You know? 
the scriptures speak about that, which I'm not going to go into that just, you know, just right now. But just like I was saying, you know, you work one job, right? And you get child support taken out your check. You know, that's that's like 30 percent of your check. You know, Uncle Sam going to take his cut. So now you stuck with half a check and you didn't work two weeks. And you got you got a, 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 what you probably should have had for one week, man. You know, so now you got to go get a second job. Now you twice as fucking tired because you working two jobs to make one check. Hey, this place got to fucking go, man. You know, if you're not tired of this place, it's because you're not catching hell. And if you're not catching hell, the Lord is giving you a form of consolation on this side, man. You know, so that means if you have your way right now, even in the smallest way, because, you know, Jake will, Jake will accept a little bit of nothing for a small season when you can have so much more if you just have patience and wait. But, you know, this society and the way people think is it's, it's set up and built on instant gratification. Don't nobody, don't nobody want to wait. You know, Jake can't wait so much that they are steal from others, man. You know, all these Jakes out here scamming and stealing just to, you know, hey, hey, to live in luxury. Hey, well, that's your consolation on this side, man. You know, but that being said, man, you know, Jake gonna find a way. You know, we all brothers are going through different things, but, you know, we just, you know, got to remember that, hey, whatever it is, the Lord puts you in that situation so you can still perform. All you got to do is pray and ask Yahweh Yahweh for what you're lacking. You know, you might got to switch some things up, you know, so that you can be acclimated to a new situation. But, you know, um, you're not supposed to let nothing keep you from this truth, man. You know, whether it be uh, uh, being threatened with debt, whether it be, you know, you in a lot of debt, man. So you got to work a little harder, you know, whatever, man. You just got to put it put it uh, in your mind that, man, you, I'm not going to let nothing take me out of this truth, man. You know, I might fall, but I'm going to get back up. You know what I'm saying? You just got to, hey, man, you know, this is just a little exhortation through, too, through the spirit and power of your house by seeing your side. We all fall, man. But those of us, those of you who fall back into the world and you just don't get back up, the Lord not dealing with you. But if you, you know, hey, you you have your falls, you dust yourself off, you keep getting back up, hey, the Lord dealing with you, man. The scriptures say that a righteous man falls up seven times and rises up again. So you're going to always make mistakes in this truth. But that's a part of the learning process. That's a part of the refinement process. You know, there wouldn't be no need for no refinement process if we was already perfect. But yeah, man, you know, like Michael 2 and 10 says, man, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, man. It, for, it, for it is polluted, you know, it will destroy you with the sore destruction. You now that shit tripped me out when they said that we're consuming a credit card is worth of plastic every week. Hey, man, that's why uh, people are dying like they uh, die, man. That's why people are sick the way they sick. You literally eating plastic, dude. You breathing in chemtrails. You drinking poison-ass water, man. Hey, man, everything we could, could, could put our hands on to put to our mouth on this side is defiled, man. We need salvation. No, the Lord didn't. Hey, the Lord ain't going, you know. Uh, 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 keep us in this captivity for much longer. Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh is coming back to deliver his elect and to destroy this place, man. You know, but Jake don't believe that. You know, Jake only believe what they see. Well, a lot of y'all are going to see them missiles right before they come and y'all ain't going to be able to hey, make it on no terror because you just decided you're going to be wicked and trust in your oppressive system. You're going to make yourself a part of that system. Hey, the Lord is going to destroy you wicked ass Jakes, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, Esau getting ready to push that tip, which is the mark of the beast. A lot of you niggas going to take it. Just like y'all, uh, uh, you know, um, um, hey, just like Jake sell out in the industry for a little bit of a little bit of money, a little bit of fame, a little bit more than everybody else got. Hey, man, these, Jake down here going to take that tip, man, because y'all ain't got no faith, you know? Having faith is when, hey, I see that I don't got no food, but I'm going to pray to the Lord and I'm going to keep it pushing. And I know he's going to bless me to run into some food. I ain't going to take that chip, though. I ain't going to sell out. That's having faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai.
going to be a Revelations 13 and 16. This is Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls it all, calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark and the, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. You know? So pretty soon you're not going to be able to buy or sell or be a part of the system if you don't take that chip. Hey, and if you take that chip, you going to die, man. The Lord going to uh, feed your ass a missile. You're going to be missile food. You know? Hey, a lot of Jake's man ain't got faith. And a lot of them already done took the juice. So, you know, y'all going to take that chip, man. The only ones who are going to refuse that chip are the hopeful elect, man. We're going to tell at least all the hell with you. You know? Hey, do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? I know you how about some y'all shot got me, though. I'm not taking no fucking chip, man. You know, hey, Esau getting ready to roll hard on Jake, man, especially those of us who are in this truth. They know who we are. They know what we stand for. They coming. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to allow them to come, man, because all of us are going to be tested just as Yahweh Sai was tested. And we're going to have to pass that test with flying colors. But the only way we can do that is through having faith, man. Some of us might be thrown into prison. And the Lord can have some angels break you the hell out of prison, man. Esau might roll up on you a hundred deep, 200 guns on him, you know. And the Lord can have you, give you spiritual power and have you kill every one of them, man. You'll run through a whole army platoon. But you just, you know, these are things that we got to have faith, man. Hey, some of us might be beheaded, you know what I'm saying, for the witness and the testimony of Yahweh Shai. But we got to hey, remember that if we perish in the truth, we going to come back with Yahweh Shai, man, you know, on the chariots. You know, there, you know, it's a win-win situation for the for the for the hopeful elect, man, for the elect, Salakia. You know, it's a win-win situation for the elect. They can't lose. You know, Esau, you know, your future is slavery, man. You know, your kingdom's going to be destroyed and the residue of the heathen are going to be put in chains. You know, starting with the, the 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 top elite of Esau, man. You know, and then I'm just you know a like prophesying through the spirit. These are the things that are coming. You know, pretty soon, man. Like the scriptures say, man, the full storehouses shall be empty. You're not gonna be able to go to Kroger because it ain't gonna be no food in there. They might turn Kroger, Walmart into concentration camps, which we know that's pretty much what they're gonna end up doing. But pretty soon, man. The way that we live in luxury, and a luxury is, um, you know, uh, uh, something that, that that makes you comfortable. You know, it, you know, it's, it's it's a real comfy feeling going into the grocery store and getting everything you need. It's just right there. Hey, people are gonna bug the hell out when they see empty shelves, man. People are gonna turn back onto cannibalism. You know, hey man, things all hell is getting ready to break loose. You know, and, and Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai is getting ready to crank up that evil that he controls. These spirits of vengeance, spirits of death, spirits of famine. And Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai is getting ready to unleash all of that on this earth, man. You know? You know, hey, like I said, man, like 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 brothers, like we all say, we're going to see some crazy shit coming up out of here, man. You know? And dealing with that, let's see, I'm going to pull this other precept real quick. Now, we're going to be surrounded by a lot of death, but we just got to keep faith and, and, and keep it pushing. Uh, we're going to have to be in that spirit that Denzel was in, uh, in that movie, man. What's that movie? Uh, forget it, man. The Book of Eli. You no, know, Denzel saw some shit come. Uh, he saw some things. You know that, that that probably bothered him a little bit, but he uh, he he said, you know what, man, I I, I got a mission, I got to keep moving. That's how we gonna have to be, man. We might we're gonna see people that we we care about, family members perish. We gonna see, you know, women that we might have cared about perish, you know. But we got to keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. we got to remember, man. Where were the righteous ever cut off, man? You know. 
If you perished, you perished in your iniquity, man. You perished because you were being wicked. Yahweh yeah, Bashem Yahweh Shai ain't just going, you know, it's the difference between being put to death and being a, 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 a martyr, you know? That is, it, that, those are two different things, man. So whereas some of the men of the Lord might be martyred for Yahweh Shai, that's an honor. To be put to death for your iniquity is shameful, man. It's a big difference. Let's see, this is Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. You know? So it's the time of Jacob's trouble, man. That's that's at the door. You know, Jake, they're going to come snatch y'all up and take y'all to these concentration camps. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have uh, race wars and, ri and riots breaking out. You're going to have major looting going on. It's going to be like a movie, man. All hell is going to break loose. And you got to think logically. The police can't be everywhere. Hell, the police going to quit their job. The army ain't going to be everywhere. And they not going to be here to protect and serve no damn body, man. These UN troops that are, that are, that are going to come when all hell breaks loose, man, they're going to be raping they're probably going to be raping kids, women, children, because that's the shit that they do, man. So you women out here that love to shake your ass and shake your ass at a stoplight and we're half the, the and we're damn near nothing. Hey, man, keep that, keep that up, man. Them UN troops going to love you, man. You know, they going to get their hands on some of these women as well, man. The scriptures have prophesied that. You know, when 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 they get ready to uh to come and take people into these concentration camps and out of their homes, what you think they gonna do when you come to the door, no bra on, no man around you to protect you? Hey, they gonna do what they wanna do with some of you women, man. You know, the women that are protected by your how about some y'all was shot, that ain't gonna happen to you. But hey, you wicked ass women, that's what's to come. You know? Rape is gonna come back in a big way. You know, the scriptures say in Jeremiah 30 and 7 that it is the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Only the elect are going to make it, man. You know, the elect of Jacob will be saved out of it. Two-thirds shall be cut off.